This is the fourth of four videos looking at graphs of quadratic equations or parabolas. In this particular case, the uh, equation is again in, in vertex form, so it will be easy to know what the vertex is. Uh, we're, when we're done, we're supposed to label what the y-intercepts are, what the x-intercepts are, and if there are any, and uh, where the vertex is. And we're supposed to fit all of that onto this piece of graph paper. So let's begin this equation with uh, things that we can readily see uh, just from the form of the equation. Because it is in the vertex form, we know that minus 3 minus 4 is the vertex. We can just read that from this particular equation. a times x minus h quantity squared plus k the vertex will be at hk. So the vertex is at minus 3, 4. And so let's put that in place. Minus 1, 2, 3. Minus 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's uh, the vertex. We also know that this is an opening up parabola. So because that's a vertex and it's an opening up parabola, we know that it has some x-intercepts. So let's work on those for a minute. The x-intercepts occur when y is equal to 0. y is equal to 0, then we've got x plus 3 squared minus 4. Now we've learned in the past video that, that solving for the x-intercepts when we've got things in the, in the vertex form is really kind of easy. You just start getting the x by itself. Add a 4 to both sides, this will be an x plus 3 quantity squared. And the square root of both sides, this side will become a plus or minus 2. And this will be an x plus a 3. So x is equal to 3 plus or minus 2. So let's fill those in. If, uh, if x is a... oh. Hang on, I have to subtract a 3 from both sides, right? Subtracting a 3 from both sides of the equation. I've got a minus 3 plus or minus 2. So that's going to give me x is a minus 5 and y is 0. x is a minus 3 plus 2 minus 1 and 0. So if you look at those, then there's the minus 1 and 0 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are symmetrical with respect to the vertex. And so this thing is going to be going up like this somewhere. So now the last thing that we've got to do is find where that crosses the, uh, the, the y-axis. That's an easy thing to do. We just need to find the y when x is 0. So that's a 0 plus a 3 quantity squared minus a 4. So y is equal to a 9 minus a 4, or y is equal to 5. So the other point that we've got is the y-intercept is 0, 5. Okay, so we just need to get things to fit in nicely there. We've got plenty of room on this graph. It's no big deal. We can almost fit it in anywhere. There's my x-axis. There's my y-axis and I'm just going to call each step uh, one one for each tick mark so there's my thing scaled so over here to minus one and minus one two three four five those were this is minus five zero and this one is minus 1, 0. Those, and over to minus 1, 2, 3. Uh, where was that vertex? Minus 3, minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We knew that because this was in vertex form. So this is coming up like this. And uh, the y-intercept is at 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That looks pretty reasonable. So there's the. Okay, so there we are. We've shown the scale, we've identified what the scale is, but we've plotted the particular points involved.